three, two, one, go! Today, we're making our foster dog, Winston, a premium home-cooked meal. And he gets to choose all the ingredients, from fruits, veggies, carbs, and proteins. It's all up to him. This guy's been through so much. He was locked in a cage for so long, his legs and back actually grew wrong. And this is more than a meal. You see, Winston is about to go into surgery. So not only should this meal give him the nourishment that will help him heal, but it should also show him that he's loved. Okay, now you might remember us doing this with homeless dogs before. You remember that little guy, Bugsy? <laughs> he sure loved me. All right, Winston's getting hungry, so let's get cooking. Oh, look at this. Delicious salmon, gourmet, organic free-range chicken, T-bone steak. But first, we gotta, what are we starting with? The little appetizer. Oh, the, you, did you mean, did you mean the yappetizer? Yappetizer. <laughs> we have a hard-boiled egg yep. and a shrimp. Here we go. Three, two, one, go get it. He ate both of them. I get, there's nothing in the rules that states you can't eat both your appetizers. He's so food motivated. The question is, will he react the same to picking his veggies? What do you got going on? We got squash, Boom. zucchini, yep. and carrot. Okay, now I will say, a lot of you are gonna leave in the comments that dogs should not be eating vegetables. And I'm gonna tell you, you're 100% wrong. Dogs should eat their vegetables, you should eat your vegetables, I sound like a real dad right You now. should eat your vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> Some, sometimes I need that reminder as well. Yeah. Eat your vegetables. Okay, all right. Let's see which one our will pick. Three, two, one, go. Which one? Oh, it's the zucchini. Wait, did he touch it? I think he wants them both. I think he wants all three of them cooked up. Okay, 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 don't eat. Don't eat it yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, as a pet chef, I've been making dog food meals, gourmet food meals for dogs for quite some time. And I always like to have my assistant pet chef here with me helping out with some of More the- More like the boss. <laughs> <laughs> we won't get into it on camera here, but. Uh, okay, you, should we also do the squash? Because he kind of, I mean, he took a whole bite out of that thing too. Yeah, I mean, I think we just gotta put them all three in. We gotta make sure he gets his veggies. Yeah, more veggies is better, especially because he's on the mend. He's, he's gotta get strong and healthy for his surgery. So, okay, we'll cook those up. Let's move into the next selection, carbs. Okay, we're gonna let him pick between dog-friendly pasta, rice, or potatoes. Dogs need carbs in their dog food, but I wanna get the veggies cooking first. Also, I just wanna give a big shout out to Animal Friends of the Valleys and the staff that is working so hard there because without them, Winston's life would not have been saved. Now remember, I'm a pro and I'm tailoring this specifically to Winston's diet. This will be some of his dog food. We'll also feed him some other things as a well-balanced meal. If you do something like this for your dog, always consult with your vet to make sure the meal is balanced. Okay, we've got the pan ready. We're gonna cook it up. This is gonna help bring out some of the aroma too so that he really gets all his senses working. Sight, smell, taste. And it's gonna be jam-packed with nutrients that is really gonna help this boy heal through his surgery. We'll let that sit and cook and we'll let him pick his cards. Three, two, one. Rice, it was rice, it was rice! Oh no, you're making a mess! No, no! Oh no! Come here! No. Oh my god! Okay, 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 just hold on a minute, buddy. Oh, I think he's eating a raw potato. Okay, alright, well. <laughs> he, he's in it to win, you know? Alright, let's get his rice cooking. Do about, about a cup and a half. All right, let's get that rice cooking. Let's check on the veggies. Ooh, they're steaming up nice. Oh wow, this looks so fresh and delicious. What a lucky dog. Here we go. Three, two, one. Okay. Ah, the apples for the win. Okay, hold on. Oh, 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 <laughs> he got one. 
I'm dicing up these apples. They're gonna add a nice sweetness to the dog food and a really great nutrition. Now, remember, all of my dog food, I'm tailoring to specifically to my dog's needs. And I would balance this out with the correct vitamins, everything needed for their diet. Can I just show you a behind the scenes moment here? <laughs> Between takes so Winston doesn't eat everything, we have him waiting in the den. And he is just sitting by the door, <laughs> crying. Because <laughs> he wants to choose more things. But the good thing is we're giving him little treats in between for how good of a job he's doing. And the other dogs too, like if Kobe wants a little bite. Okay, here we go. Yeah, good boy, Winston. If Kobe wants one of my treats here. These are my treats. I make these. I slow bake them. I air dry them. Oh, Kobe. <laughs> you got to be faster. I'll get Kobe some more here in a minute. But you guys got to get some of these for your dog. I guarantee them. They are the best treat your dog will ever have. And they're good for you. Like we've been giving this hip and joint treat to Winston because it's so healthy for him. It's got pumpkin in there and coconut. We have skin and coat. We have immunity and digestion and beef and chicken. Go to rockykanaka.com slash jerky and get these for your dog. What's really cool about that is when you do it, you're helping support everything we do when we go help animals. So best treat your dog will ever have. And I love you for it. Okay, is it time to pick his protein? You know what, yeah. Right now though, I'm prepping his dessert. I'm gonna make him one of my dog-friendly waffles dog friendly ice cream or just a small bowl of peanut butter and see which one he wants to pick for his dessert. But while that's prepping, let's let him pick his protein. Three, two, one, go! Ah, it's a chicken! No. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I mean, which one did he go for? I think we gotta see an instant replay. It was the steak, he touched the steak first. But I mean, look, he took a whole chomp out of that chicken. That was definitely his favorite after he had a minute to think about it. So, so what do we do? I think we gotta do both. I think you're right. The rules state that he went for the steak first, and so that's the one, but he's been through so much his whole life. But if he also likes the chicken, we're throwing in the chicken. Let's cook it up. I got the salmon prepping. Gonna put that in the oven. None of the food here is going to waste. So that's gonna go to our other dogs. We do have four dogs to feed here. We're gonna get the steak cooking. Oh, the perfect sear. Gonna bring out the aroma for Winston. Oh man, this is coming together great. He's gonna get to eat his meal. We're gonna put it all together and stick around because you're gonna also get to see him eat a delicious dessert. All right, let's add in our carbs. Okay, let's add in his first choice, the steak. Oh yeah, that's good. One more scoop there. Okay, perfect. Now we gotta do a scoop of chicken. Chicken. Oh, look at that. One more scoop. Delicious. Okay, here we go. Couple of scoops in there. He's a big guy. So we'll let him have a good dinner. Wow, look at that. Okay, couple more things I wanna do to make this perfect. Add a little garnish of steak on there. Looking good. Some apples. Just right. Some fresh spring water. Yeah, and then we're gonna let this cool for 15 minutes and then it's dinner time. He is so excited. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, come on, come on. His <laughs> balls going everywhere. Oh, this is so awesome to see. Oh, he's scarfing it down. This is the fastest I've ever seen him clear his bowl. Gosh, it's just so good to see him enjoying that. What's he doing? Oh, he's checking other bowls. Come here, Winston. Come here. <laughs> it's dessert time. He gets to pick organic peanut butter, my dog friendly waffle, or my dog friendly ice cream. All right, buddy, you ready? The waffle! Wait, I got, I'm gonna, I gotta put them together for you, buddy. <laughs> hey, wait, he's going for the ice cream too. 
It was the fastest I've ever seen someone eat a waffle. <laughs> oh, Andy's going for the peanut butter. <laughs> what an awesome time with this boy right here. He goes in for surgery this week, so make sure you're keeping him in your thoughts. If you want, I'm gonna be sending updates for this, so just sign up for my email list. I'll put a link down in the description below, or just go to rockykanaka.com. I'll make sure to update all the information there.